Hey there, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Parkosaurus. I'm excited you guys are here with me. We're going to turn this into our own little Jurassic Park. And um, I have a little confession. I already played this day on uh, my own time. Uh, I actually recorded it, but the game didn't save my progress for whatever reason. Uh, probably something that I did wrong. But um, I learned that this cute little guy right here, his name is Waldo. Not that guy, that's the veterinary name, Pelox. There he is, Waldo, little cutie. Uh, okay, so let's zoom out. And uh, this day should actually go pretty smooth as far as um, mission stuff goes. I might actually record like this in the future for this particular game, just because the tutorial stuff is super boring, and I don't want to subject you guys to that. Um, but I do want to play this game because a lot of people are interested in it. So, let's put a big old water feature right in the middle. Smack dab in the middle. Boom. Got that done. So, um, in order to fill out, figure out, okay, what you need to do to your biome. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I, I will say that the controls for this game are a little, like, they're lacking simplicity. It's, it's kind of a complicated game, I think, to control. There we go. That's what I was trying to bring up. Okay, so I needed wetness to bring it from forest to rainforest. That's why I added that. Now it's telling me to add some happy little trees. Let's just use our uh, titanium white and uh, and use our little four inch brush here. If you guys haven't ever seen Bob Ross the painter, go look that guy up, man. Some seriously good entertainment right there. I don't know how he was as a person, but um, I know his stuff was very entertaining if you like art. Put a couple of bushes over here. They don't like broccoli. They don't. Uh, build a couple of rocks. We're spending all of our money. Of course, it's not up. I thought I clicked. Yeah, I thought I clicked it. Boy, what a shitty enclosure I made. <laughs> oh well. Dino pup's happy. That's all that matters. Open for business. Okay, let's open this thing up for uh, park guests. Click on the admission booth. What admission do I want to make today? Uh, I have not really been enjoying this game so far. That's my first admission. Uh, I'm hoping it gets better. Probably as I learn to play, it'll get better. But I'm going to try to give it a fair shake, you know? Like, I, can, I don't want to judge it by, like, one or two episodes. Um, click on the admission booth. I thought I did. Open park. $5 a pop. Yay, we're open for business. Okay, we gotta hire a janitor. Let's do that. Uh, we got Gampa Gampadra. Oh, that's the veterinarian. We got Ulak, the sixth. Zana. Gied. S Sika. That dude looks like he's got a condom on his head. With uh, some, some green glasses. I bet he's a toker. He's a smoker. He's a midnight joker. Yes, I know I messed it up, and somebody out there is probably yelling at me for it. Uh, okay, cool. He's hired. You're fired. Boy, that was fast. Okay, what do I gotta do now? Pick up and move the janitor. That's not him. That's Ulax. It's this dude over here with the cowboy hat. Whoa! Okay, earning 25 of $30. That's good. Where are you going, dude? Security training. I need to get a new security guard. Narden. He's got a Nardenly beard. So, you're hired. Click on a dinosaur. No, not Wally. Where's that little sucker at? A little piece of shit. Here, boy. Come here, Wally. Come here, boy. We're gonna trank you. Who's gonna be tranked? Who's a good tranky dining dinosaur? Where are you at, dude? You're supposed to be over here tranking my dino. Get to work. You missed. There you go. 
Who's a sleepy little dino? I can't believe you have to trank dinos in a game like this. Click on your tranquilized dinosaur. There, no. Click on your. Oh my god. I just poofed him out of existence. Open your inventory. Click on your dinosaur crate and place inside your exhibit. This crate holds Waldo the Triceratops. Oh my god, that's a big, big freaking container. Boom. Release dino into exhibit. So what was the purpose of that again? Like, why exactly did I trank him? Let's explore the world of science. Science credits are used in the science trees to unlock useful upgrades and items for your park. The most common way to generate science credits is to have scientists work at the science building or at a scientist presentation. Okay. So I need to build a research station. I'll go ahead and um, build that right close to the entrance. That's an eyesore. Generate science credits. Pick up scientists by the selecting and using the icon. Place into onto the science node are found science buildings and presentations. So now I need a scientist. Uh... Oh, she's cute. I like her. Salute. You're hired, salute. And also, will you be my girlfriend? Nah. Uh, okay. Oh, you're already hired. Uh, great. Let's go back to the park. Pick up and place her. Is that her? Where's she at? Uh, where's my little employee thing? Here it is. Scientist. That does not look anything like her. Boom. She's on the research node. Generate 0 of 20 science today. I don't know if I'm going to have time to. The park's probably going to close kind of soon. Oh, look. She's generating science. And I guess every time that wheel fills up is 1, right? Probably. I am not sure at all what is going on here. Oh no, I generated 8 from doing that. That's cool. That's a little bit more reasonable. Okay, cool. So we made $272 today. Hopefully we'll generate enough science before the day is over. Uh, let's see. What else do I need to do? Let's check on Wally. See how he's doing. Oh my god, Wally is walking on water. I knew that my, I knew my bull was special. And he's sleeping. He needs a more private exhibit. Okay, cool. I generated enough science for the day. Time to expand the park with more dinosaur best friends. You can only have one best friend because there's only like one place for cuz otherwise like all of your friends would have to be your best friend. I, I don't know. That's not true. I, I don't. I don't know how that works exactly. Use the portal to go dig up skulls and footprints to be used in the egg store. Use the portal, huh? To go dig up skulls. Oh, this is the portal. Neat. Oh, that's right. I forgot they're dinosaur space dinos. Click on the portal at the top of the screen. Open the portal. Uh, okay. End of day. We got a lot accomplished today. We got a heart point. We got some science stuff. Look for... Sauropoda. No, I'm cool with Stegosaurus. Select a time period below the, the portal to determine what dino parts to dig. Scientists dig. Use your current scientists to dig for skulls and footprints. Each of your scientists has a unique dig type. Okay. You can always look up this information again. Have expedition team arrive at the dig site. Exploring takes a little time, so explore your park and return later. Okay. I need to go back to this screen and see if I can spend anything. Okay, so I have one heart. Can I spend one heart on anything? No, I need five there. I need six. Um, 
Damn, everything's so damn expensive. It's kind of cool that there's a progression system at least. Makes the game worth like playing for a while longer, I guess. Science! I got 304 science, so I can either get a sous chef or a horticulturist amateur. Employee learn. Science learn. Uh, I guess it's probably a way to make more money, right? A taco shop. I don't know. I'm not sure exactly how all that works. So yeah, let's let's hire a sous chef. Why the hell not? So you gotta press and hold on that. So now I can hire Eureka, I got an achievement. Um everything's an achievement now. Have expedition team arrive, find two footprints, find two skulls, buy an egg from the store. Um how do I go back? That's one way. And now how do I save the game? There we go. Quick save. Save completed. So now, we should be good. I'll see you guys in the next episode. I might do a little bit of grinding off camera, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about these episodes. Um, this tutorial stuff is kind of boring, I think, but you be the judge. So anyway, bye.